aspirants are you sitting in a very confused state where you are not able to figure out which are the most important species for environment this year which one should i study which one are the new discovered species that i should be focusing on and so on yeah give a rest to all your confusions because we at ias baba have figured out the top 20 species for prelims 2023 Now with this as you've been already following we've covered species till spot number 17 at spot number 16 we have the mighty cheetah oh come on this is such a star species for this year every single newspaper article has come about how the cheetah was there how it has been reintroduced so you know how much of a star the species is which means you have to know even my new details about it what details are quite important First thing is you have to know about there are two major cheetah species involved in this entire discussion. You have an Asiatic cheetah and you have the African cheetah. The Asiatic cheetah which occurred in India very long ago is the one that has become critically endangered and thereafter became extinct in the wild. and if you know to know about it it is the only large carnivore that got completely wiped out from india since 1952 the asiatic cheetah has been extinct from the wild spaces of india and this is a cause of concern so here what we did is we created plans with the countries of namibia and south africa to introduce the african cheetah into these spaces so what we've done is we've reintroduced cheetah but then for the first time we've introduced the african cheetah into the indian forests now if you note over here this plan of reintroducing the species is the world's first intercontinental large wild carnivore translocation project though it looks really long what you should be understanding it it's for the very first time intercontinentally that is from africa to asia these species have been moved and i must tell you in comparison to the asian cheetah the african cheetah is a little bit more large it has much more darker spots and so on but on a habitat wise it can grow perfectly well in some spots in india and what are those spots you have the kuno palpur national park and very soon we are going to introduce it also into the bhansor gar wildlife sanctuary Now here's a task for you guys I want you to find out where are both of these national parks the national park and the wildlife sanctuary where do they occur find out and let me know in the comments below Now moving on to the 15th spot of our list is the very very cute red panda Now the red panda is considered as an indicator species basically meaning if there are any climatic changes or environmental changes in its habitat the red panda and its population will indicate it through maybe a rise in its population or a decline in its population 50% of the red panda's habitat is in the eastern himalaya region of india and you will also see the siang river which flows to arunachal pradesh divides the red pandas into two major genetic families which are there so in that context the siang river is also important when you study about the red panda adding on to this this is the state animal of sikkim though it is the state animal of sikkim arunachal pradesh holds the largest red panda population in the country It falls under the IUCN category of endangered and the current affair portion of it which has given it its very very prestigious 15th spot is the fact that the Padmaja Naidu Hima Himalayan Zoological Park has basically assessed how many red pandas over there the Padmaja Naidu Zoological Park is in West Bengal they've assessed the red pandas and they have ventured into translocating some of these red pandas into the Singalila National Park and that is why it was there in news and that is given our very very cute animal the 15th spot moving on to the 14th spot in our list of species is the black panther not the movie guys the species over here now black panther though it's a 
very very stylish organism like this you have to understand it is basically just a color variant of the spotted indian leopards it undergoes a certain process whereby which the colors or the pigments in that organism is expressed more profoundly and thereby turning the animal into black instead of being a spotted indian leopard so understand it's not a totally different species it's just a genetic mutation in creating this black panther now here you will see that it falls under the vulnerable category of iucn it's commonly seen in all these major reserves which are over here in all the three reserves you will see the widespread presence of it in pench in netravali and in navegaon nagzira tiger reserve so now you know because it had sightings in all these places is what has given our black panther the 14th spot now moving on to the 13th spot we have the nilgiri thar okay a lot has happened to this animal in this one year primarily to talk about its habitat it is seen in the southern indian states of tamil nadu and kerala and let me tell you it is the only caprine species caprine is basically a goat or a sheep species found in the tropical mountains of southern india and as a very rare occurrence to it it is seen in meadows with steep cliffs at almost 300 to 2600 meters elevation and to add to all this it is considered as the state animal of tamil nadu and tamil nadu takes very extensive measures to protect this animal it falls under the iucn category of endangered and therefore to protect it here in tamil nadu they've started a project nilgiri thar very recently and that is the reason why this has come in news several times in the last year thus giving the nilgiri thar the 14th spot Did I get you hooked on to this list? If so, keep watching this space to know about the rest of the species. Now before we go into any further than that, I want you to understand if you want to have more such information, we have a program exclusively designed for that. the prelims exclusive program 2023 i will say it's one of the most comprehensive programs for prelims preparation you have experts taking almost 375 plus hours of class you have mentorship which is personal and one on one you have almost several csat classes by experts and strategy classes by prelims experts and to top it all off we truly believe that you have to face the prelims exam at least by giving 6000 mcqs beforehand and for that we have 125 plus daily tests so if this has got you interested reach out to us the second batch of this program has already begun on january 23rd and make your prelims a successful journey this time